Even though the A55 isn't the S24 or Ultra, I've got a ton of tips and tricks that make it feel like both these bad boys. Like, check this out. Okay, so we all know about the Galaxy AI that the S24 comes with, but even though the A55 doesn't have that AI, you can just download your own AI in the Play Store, like this crazy powerful ChatGPT. And yes, everyone knows about ChatGPT, but not everyone knows about this really sick trick you can do with it. So to do this trick, you'll have to have started a few chats on ChatGPT first. And once that's done, then head into the quick settings menu and select the pencil icon to edit it. Because now, if you swipe all the way to the left, you will see this ChatGPT icon. So you can just tap it or drop and drag it into place. And now check this out. You can just swipe down on the quick settings panel and tap on the ChatGPT icon to ask it pretty much anything like, is the Galaxy A55 a nice phone? The Galaxy A55 has been described as feeling great in hand. That's pretty sweet. You can literally have full blown conversations with it and talk to it as though it's a real person that basically knows everything. And to kick it up another notch, on your A55, if you head into the widgets section, you can even add a ChatGPT widget to your home screen. Just in case you needed any information and wanted to text with it. Or if you have ChatGPT4, you can even upload an image and ask it about that. So even though this doesn't have Galaxy AI, you can still get some cool AI for it. And this isn't even the craziest thing. Later on, I'll show you an AI hack that makes the A55 even more like the S24. But for now, let's move on to some hidden customization. So before I show you any customization tricks, let's make the A55 screen just as smooth as the S24. And to do this, you'll just have to go into your settings, then display settings, and under motion smoothness, make sure you change it from standard to adaptive. This basically makes the screen buttery smooth to use and just so much more pleasant to look at. But now that that's out the way, for the first customization trick, and this one is just so cool, inside your phone settings, you'll find call backgrounds, where you can then select this background option that'll take you straight into your gallery and now you can choose any image or video like this animated wallpaper as your background. So now whenever someone calls you this animated call screen background will play which just gives your A55 that extra bit of personality or as mentioned you can just use a static image if that's your thing. And if you're wondering where you can get these slick animated wallpapers from then check out my website hailsworld.com. Then for the second customization trick, inside your clock application, if you select an alarm and scroll down, you can even set an alarm background for any of your alarms, just by choosing an image or custom background from your gallery. This again works with animated wallpapers, and of course, you can pick from any style you'd like, just to make your alarms a bit more fun and less bland. So believe it or not, the A55 has a great camera system that's actually almost as good as the S24. And it's got three really cool features that everyone should know about. The first feature, and this one's actually quite hidden, is if you have any photo that you've taken through a window and have these really irritating reflections, well, if you swipe up on the photo, these options appear where you can select erase reflections. And how this works is your A55's photo AI will scan your image and remove any reflections like magic. But there's even more this photo AI can do. Like you can also object erase. So if you tap on anything in your photo and then click on erase, the AI will do its crazy magic and totally remove what you selected from the picture. This works on pretty much any image and not just photos. So it's a nice quick way to remove things without having to use Photoshop. Then for the third feature, if you're like me and love taking a ton of portrait photos, inside the gallery, once you've selected your portrait photo, if you swipe up, you'll find this background effect button. And straight away, you might not notice anything new because you can change the background effect or move through different filters, but you may have noticed this little icon. And if you tap on it, you can actually move this little dot around to change the direction of the light shining on you. And you can even change how bright it is. Just absolutely insane because a thousand dollar iPhone can't even do this. But let's dig in even deeper with two super hidden tricks that I guarantee you didn't know. So for the first super hidden trick, this one's actually got to do with the Wi-Fi. So if you swipe down on the quick settings panel and tap and hold on the Wi-Fi to open up its settings, then tap on these three little dots, you might notice this option, intelligent Wi-Fi. 
And right at the bottom of those settings, you'll see intelligent Wi-Fi again. And if you tap on it a few times, the secret connectivity labs option will open up. And in here, you'll find a ton of information about the Wi-Fi you're currently connected to, like how long you've been connected to it, and also how much internet you've used. There's even a home Wi-Fi inspection tool where you can measure out the strength of the Wi-Fi you're currently connected to and how secure it is. And for the second super hidden trick inside your settings, and device care, you'll find something called auto optimization, where I'd suggest you turn on auto restart to restart when needed. Because basically what this does is it guarantees that your A55 will keep running smoothly by restarting itself whenever it finds any issues. So it kind of just handles any problems all on its own without having to bug you. That's pretty sick. Okay, now let me show you a few new things you can do on the A55's lock screen. You'll now notice there's two new buttons in the customization section. And I really like this new effects option where you can swipe to add different effects to your wallpaper, like grayscale, a gray background, and my personal favorite, a colored background where you can change the color. There's a couple more other options if you keep swiping like this ink effect and some other painting styles, but to make it even more aesthetic, you can select this frame option where you can choose from some really cool different frame styles. And again, if you tap on the color tab, you can then go ahead and select a pre-made color or even select your own to get that perfect look. But what I especially love is you can even resize the subject to make it pop out the frame even more. And this just looks so cool. You can now also finally change to custom clock fonts. So you just click on these three little dots right over here and then tap on download fonts. This will take you into the Galaxy Store where you can choose from a ton of different free or paid for fonts. And honestly, you can get some really crazy, fun, unique looking lock screen designs this way. So I definitely suggest you go and check out all these customization features. Okay, now have you ever thought about how you can auto delete photos from other people's phones? Well, check this out. On your A55, when you open up the gallery and choose to share an image with someone using Quick Share, in here, you can tap on these three little dots and turn on private sharing. And once you've done that, you can then set an expiry time, like let's say for one hour. Now, the other person will just need to make sure their quick sharing is also turned on as well. And as soon as that happens, you'll notice you can select their phone and send them the picture. They'll then receive the picture you just sent them. But what's so neat about this is that the picture doesn't actually get saved inside their gallery. Instead, it gets saved inside this private sharing history folder. And when they open it up, not only will it have this watermark on it for extra security, but they can't even take a screenshot of it either, so it's super safe. And after the time you set expires, it automatically gets deleted from the other person's phone, which is such a sweet trick. And by the way, you know how the S24 has the circle to search feature? Well, here's a hack on how to get the same thing on the A55. So this is such a useful trick on the S24 and there are three steps to get it to work on the A55. Firstly, inside the Play Store, make sure to download Google Lens, which is literally what Circle to Search uses. Then secondly, inside your settings and advanced features, go into side button and change the double press to open app and set it to open up Google Lens. Now check this out, let's say you're busy browsing something on the internet or YouTube for example. Well, if you see something you like, just take a screenshot, then double press the side button to open lens and then select the screenshot you just took and verbam, it'll search it on Google just like how it does with circle to search. And you can even take a picture. Bam! Just double click the side button, select the pic you just took and check it out. There's your results. Now that, now that is cool. cool. And if you're worried about losing the double tap to open the camera, then don't, because I got something even better. So now onto my favorite quick tips, starting off with widgets, specifically this brand new camera widget. Just select it and add it to your home screen. And once you've done that, you can then adjust its settings and choose what camera mode you'd like it to start on, like portrait, for example, and also what image you'd like as the widget background. Then just click save. And now you'll get this widget on your home screen that once you press it, will open the camera straight to that mode 
from your home screen, which basically makes the side button shortcuts unnecessary. And a little trick I personally like to do with this widget is to have a dedicated home page to all the camera modes so I can just quickly open them up straight from the home screen and snap some pics. And while we're talking about widgets, this is something I get asked about all the time. And all it actually is, is Samsung's very own gallery widgets. Once you've added it to your home screen, if you tap and hold down on it and select settings, you can actually choose what images you want to display. You can of course choose any images in your gallery or what I personally like to do is have some inspirational quotes like these ones you can also get from haleswall.com. And for the last quick tip, I know a lot of you guys will like this one. Under advanced features in screenshots and screen recordings, turn on hide status and navigation bar. Because now, whenever you take a screenshot, the top notification bar will automatically get cropped out, which really does make a big difference. So with all those tips and tricks, the A55 isn't actually that far behind the S24 range, and it is an amazing phone. So make sure you subscribe for even more tips and tricks, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles!